Mount Tehama, an ancient volcano that encompassed this area, has left remnants of itself in many of the peaks we see here today. Dying out about 300,000 years ago, Mount Tehama was believed to have reached a height of about 11,500 feet and measured approximately 11 miles across at its base. Brokoff Mountain, in the southwest corner of the park, is the second highest peak at Lassen. It is a remnant of Mount Tehama's western side. Some of the glacial erratics we see here are the remains of Mount Tehama's demise, left here during the Ice Ages. Mount Diller is also a part of what was Mount Tehama, the remains of this ancient volcano's northwest side. Pilot Pinnacle occupies what was the northern rim of Mount Tehama. Diamond Peak has taken over the central area, the core area. To the west of Diamond Peak is the active geothermal area of Sulphur Works. And to the east is Bumpus Hell, the largest geothermal area in the park. Lassen Peak is the tallest and most apparent mountain in the park today. Lassen Peak, still a mystery, is believed to be one of the latest volcanoes to come about, emerging from the northernmost side of what was Mount Tehama. However, Mount Lassen is not a remnant of Mount Tehama like the many other peaks of this area. Cinder Cone, an unusual volcano to see, stands alone in the northeast corner of the park. This majestic volcano stands 690 feet tall. The painted dunes are a beautiful result of cinder cone erupting. The Lassen Park region is one of the few places in the world where you can see nearly every type of volcano and volcanic feature known. There are four major types of volcanoes found here. The first type of volcano is a composite volcano. These volcanoes are the most dangerous and can remain active for hundreds of thousands of years. Mount Shasta, just northwest of Lassen Park, is a great example of a composite volcano. The second type of volcano is a shield or Hawaiian volcano. Mount Harkness here at Lassen Park is a good example of a shield volcano. The third type of volcano is a cinder cone. Lassen contains a good number of these volcanoes. The best example here is the volcano named Cinder Cone. Its lava shatters in mid-air and falls back down to the surface, creating a volcano with the look of a sand sculpture. The fourth type of volcano is a dome volcano. The most apparent example of this type of volcano is here at Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak is one of the largest dome volcanoes in the world. The type of lava in the dome volcano is dacite. This lava contains a high amount of silica and its low temperature make it thick and pasty. The lava doesn't flow easily and piles up around the vent and along the sides, building the volcano. Lassen Peak has evolved into a plug dome volcano. This is a volcano in which its vent has been sealed by rocks that came up from its own magma chamber, in essence, plugging its own dome. Lassen Peak, with a height of 10,457 feet, is a beautiful volcano to see. 
first beginning its activity about 20 to 30,000 years ago, Lassen Peak has a history of eruptions that excited the people of the United States back in the early 1900s.